All right. Minne manne monne, minne manne monne, minne manne monne, minne manne monne. Hello, we on now? Are we on? Yeah. You you'll ever get back on the stage? The main question. Um, I mean. My name is Linus Kalén and uh, I was born in a small city called Maristal, 1989, the golden year. When I was young I started out with ice hockey uh, and I also played a lot of football. Then I quit the football to just put in my, my main focus on ice hockey, but suddenly I realized that I'm gonna turn over to football again. So it was like back and forth between ice hockey and football and uh, many years I didn't at the same time, like all the time. My start at the gym, I mean, I moved up to Karlstad uh, after graduating in, in my store. And when studying to study at the university, I felt like I need to do something with my body because I, I just felt like I didn't, I didn't, uh, I can't, I can't look like this. I, I can't just move on in my life without any exercising at all. So I found a small little gym nearby and I started to work out and this was 2008, so uh, I was 19 years old. I started to think about competing maybe 2011 down in Gothenburg. So I moved from Karlstad to Gothenburg and I ended up at a real hardcore gym called Excel Gym. It was really good for my uh, muscular development and for my uh, training ideas and, and all of those kind of things. So when starting to working out there I met a lot of people and they told me like you need to compete, you need to try this because you have you have talent. But when looking in the in the in the mirror and thinking of this I was way too small back then. But I didn't know because people told me like you should try it. Yeah. And I met this guy called Ali and Ali also told me like, give it a try. And I was like, if you coach me, I can try. And he was like, I, I never done that. And then I told him like, no, I, I never competed as well. So, and he was like, okay, hell yeah, let's go. So he took you under his wing. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, and really helped you develop. Yep. Helped me with like everything that I needed to know back yeah. then. Yeah. Like the, the proper diet, the proper cardio, proper weightlifting. Uh, all those kind of things he, he, he taught me and we, we, we talked daily about what to do, what the next steps would be, all those kind of uh, matters that you, that you stand in front of when it comes to uh, competitive diet in, in, in before a, a fitness contest. No, my first competition was, uh, um, it, it was pretty hard because I, I competed in uh, bodybuilding for juniors. Because classic bodybuilding and men's physique, uh, they were not available. Those kind of c categories were, were not available back then. So I need, to, I, I was forced into this class with like mass monsters. And they've been working out for maybe five, six, seven years. And I, I just went up there on the stage with maybe two, three years of experience. So it was hard and, and uh, top six is going to, to the final round and I placed seven. So I, I, I missed the, the final with one point. So it was like, I mean, a little bit of crying, a little bit of annoyment. I, I, I didn't feel so good about it. It, it was hard. But, but that, that spurred you on. Yeah, of and, course, of course, of course, because I had the next competition within one week. Yeah. So I had seven days to, to improve and, and uh, to make it better. So I took those seven days and I, I think I cut maybe two more kilos or something. And then I came in in even a better shape than the first contest. And then I placed uh, fifth and one week later and I got my final round with like because when you go to the final you get to do the, the free posing routines oh, yeah. and that's what I live for that's why that's why that's why I competed from the beginning because I love that part and I love that the competitive part where it's like to 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 try to do your poses uh, as good as possible so so it felt like uh, it felt really good one week later I felt and, and, good about it. And who, who, did, who did you idolize 
I mean, it's like old school physique, like Frank Sane, Arnold Schwarzenegger, all those kind of guys. Lee Labrada, Bob Paris. Is there a certain competition you were you were most you know proud of? Yeah, I mean the first Tunisia Classic. Yeah. Uh, it, it was really good. I had like a real easy diet. Life just moved on. Uh, work life, private life, everything was just in balance and that's like super important when going to uh, a competition because I mean you have like maybe four or five months of, of, of preparations and if you have like chaos on the other side you're gonna bring chaos to the stage and chaos to the diet and I mean you're gonna sacrifice friends and family and all those kind of things. And so it's super important that you know that I wanna do this now and I really feel motivating, uh, motivated enough to do it. Do you yeah. think you'll ever get back on the stage? The main question, um, I mean, you have uh, these older categories when after you, you're turning 40. So I'm, I'm nine years out right now. So we'll see, we'll see. Maybe I do like, classic bodybuilding then again yeah. but uh, I'm not sure yeah, it's a hard question to answer yeah. I mean it must be as I told you before like everything must be in line private life work life the economic part everything yeah. it's like yeah you cannot do the you cannot feel stressed about something else and try to do the the the, the contest prep it's it's I wouldn't say it's impossible, but it's gonna it's gonna turn out in in a bad way in some sort, uh, because otherwise you're gonna sacrifice the friends or the family or or, or your health or or, or whatever. It's um, something gonna be uh, not uh, not super good for you. And what drives you to go to the gym? I still love it. I, I love the lifestyle. I, I've always done. From, from the very first beginning. I just felt like this is something for me. And also I know that I need to rest to grow and I yeah. need to rest to be able to perform at, uh, in the gym. Uh, so if I have a shitty day, I can just take a day off. I can eat chocolate and uh, pizza or whatever because I know it's gonna be a way back. Uh, because I'm not gonna be, it's not like, if I turned out a pro in ice hockey, you know you have your, your certain years when you can perform, you can be a professional, you can do it. You know it's, it's, it got uh, to end somewhere. But with bodybuilding it's like, it's almost never ending. I've seen people above 60, 70 years competing. It's like amazing. So I, I, I never felt stressed about it. And that's a real good thing because I know it. I, I, I want to try to do this for the rest of my life. So, so if I have a shitty day, I can just, uh, I can just stay home, I'm not working out that day, and I can do it tomorrow instead. Yeah, but it's it's just important. That it's not tomorrow. It's not gonna be like for the next next six months or something. You yeah. need to <laughs> tomorrow. Need to be tomorrow then. Uh -huh. It's more like I need to work out, in able to feel good, and uh, to be able to like stress down and to be a, a good dad and all those kind of things. But Otherwise, I, I, still, I still train really hard, I, I still train a lot. In my, over my 10 years in the gym, I had maybe the, the longest, um, I've been away from the gym is like two weeks because of a sore throat or whatever it was. I, I don't even remember. So I never been away for a month or for a summer or whatever. It's almost like I have, it's the other way around. When the summer comes, I work out more. When the winter comes and it's like Christmas time, I tend to work out even more. What would you tell 18-year-old Linus Kalian? I would put in more time of building muscles. I mean, those years, I didn't realize it back then, like between maybe 22 and 25. Uh, years old that I should put in more time in, in just building muscle and not dieting for the summer or competitions. I, I, I would tell myself to take longer breaks from the competitions in order to develop the body more. 
because I see when I look in in, in the review mirror, mirror uh, I see that between some of the contests I have like decent a decent upgrade, uh, but between like two or three of the times I have like massive upgrades on major of the body parts, and I know that if I took more time off from the from the competition and the contest, I would be able to transform my body even better. So that's. Uh, yeah, that's one thing I would do. But on the other on the other hand, I know that it increased my brand and all those kind of things. So who knows? Ah, it's a hard question to answer. <laughs>